your co-host today, Tammy Washington. And let's introduce a couple of our other co-hosts. Hi, I'm Shan from Atlanta. I'm Sheila from Silver Spring. And Bridget from Houston. We want to thank you for tuning in every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. And tonight's discussion, we are going to be talking all about Bridget. So we're so glad you're tuning into the conversation. So Bridget, we know that you and your husband moved here from Houston, Texas with your beautiful dog, Bella. What was your process? Like, how did you say in Texas, I'm going to move to the Dominican Republic? Okay, so our, our process, it was, you know, just planning and saving. We knew that it was something that we wanted to do, um, move to another country, but we had to narrow it down. And DR was like second, third on our list as well, whereas we considered St. Martin and St. Croix. But unfortunately, their um, economy didn't... Uh, go with our budget because it's either you're like rich that. or you're <laughs> poor you know it's either rich or poor and they didn't have a really uh, middle class lifestyle so we decided on the Dominican Republic and it was um, quite the process because you know we just started with our savings and just you know penciling it writing everything down you know how are we going to do this should we do this and it it just came together and like I you know I tell people we're here actually a year earlier than we had originally planned on being here and so everything I feel like worked out the way that it was supposed to mm -hmm. but we knew we weren't the typical black Americans that were gonna work till 62 65 and stay in Houston all our life you know right. we have been there both for 30 years but we knew that's not where you know we eventually wanted to retire or settle down for the rest of our life so how did you guys get a year ahead of schedule? Yeah, that's like a what lot was of that process? Yeah. Like that like that's that's amazing first of all. Mm -hmm. So how did you do it? So it, you you got to have a realistic plan and realistic budget in place and we did. We had just that. So once we started realizing what our expenses were in Houston and if we eliminate some of the expense, expenses now what are we waiting for? But we weighed the, what we would make a year versus everything we were paying out. Because in Houston, we had a three-story home with a swimming pool, three-car garage, and we had a pool man, a yard man. We had three cars, a van, two motorcycles. So if you eliminate all of that stuff it, you know, versus what you're making a year, it's barely any money after taxes. So why would you keep doing it for another whole year? Right. So once we sat, sat down and you know really did the numbers, it was like this is only going to add another, you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars after bills and expenses to our savings account versus peace of mind, rest, you know, go ahead and do it, get settled. So it was easy. It was an easy trade-off. But it was wow. all about sitting down really and doing the numbers. You know, yeah, once you mm -hmm. do those numbers and see. A, a difference doesn't make a lot of, uh, you know, one year doesn't make a big difference. It really wow. doesn't. Okay, so yeah. you started the process, you wrote it down, made it plain, made it plain. started saving mm -hmm. for it. How many times did you visit the DR before you decided where you're going to live? Like, what was that process of choosing a home? What neighborhood? So we've only been to the Dominican Republic twice before we actually decided to move here. Wow. But we're both island people, so as you get older, you, and we've did a lot of traveling when we were young. When we first got married, we've been all over the world. I retired from the airlines, so we've been everywhere. So our last few years um, vacations have been an island. We both love the water. We both love where, where it's warm. So we know this is, you know, we would end up selling. But we, every way we come to the Dominican Republic, it's like, this feels good. Mm. You know, it's, just, it's easy. This is easy, you know. And so then we came um, last year in September, and we stayed at Shanna's Airbnb. We were here for 11 days. We had to grocery shop. We walked. We didn't have bikes. We didn't have cars. We hardly no. ever took the taxi. And But everything felt so comfortable. And we went out at night. We walked to the grocery store we walked to the beach and I never felt afraid I mm. never had any fear and I was just like I feel like I'm at home I could stay now mm. you know and before we even got here I'm that person I do my homework I get you know everything all my ducks in a row so the roads are I was an easy sell because mm -hmm. I had already found my place mm. You know, I had like a list of eight places to choose from, and she only had to take us to like four, you know, because we found, when we saw ours, we knew it was our home. Wow. We knew that was it. 
process it was a piece of cake you know if you get on the expat blogs everything will scare you you know because mm. i don't know why the negative people get up early yeah they, they respond <laughs> yeah. to every post yep. they you know they want to comment on everything and life is so much better than those blogs so now sometimes i feel like or if you're thinking about moving here just get in touch with one person living there and just let that be your information person yeah. don't do somebody the blogs somebody that was successful and proud right. you somebody, always yeah uh, ne- uh, what, what is it called a negative, negative, negative nanny negative, 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 yeah. negative nilly and so, all that but yeah. I think those people have a, a hidden agenda they just want you guys not to come here to they, enjoy they, they want to keep it all <laughs> to keep themselves it all to the, yeah. and sometimes I believe that's yeah. true yeah. you know because <laughs> they give so much <laughs> negative feedback I was like we been here 10 months that hasn't happened to us right. but you know what Bridget you know? let me tell you something I tell you and Davin this all the time mm-hmm. and this is with 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 all with both all both mm-hmm. of you too I think that the energy and everybody knows is the energy you put out exactly. is the energy that you right. get back that's in true. I because agree. I haven't had any problems and actually if anything I've been the one that's been <laughs> right. but you people always respond to you and yeah. um, from what I've observed, respond to you and Dav and Bella too. Right. And well, the ones that aren't scared of her. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a whole nother uh, segment. But um, the, everybody responds to you in a positive way. Right. Because yeah. of what you put out mm-hmm. in the universe. You're always hello. That's it. Hola, buen dia. You know, and everybody, every place we go, someplace so she knows she knows somebody. I agree hundred percent with what you're mm-hmm. saying. It's yeah. what you put out. It's what you put out. Your experience is so. what you make of it. Honestly, mm-hmm. yep. and when That's you put true. out mm-hmm. bad, you know, people can sense that. Yeah, yeah. immediately. Yeah. you yeah. know, we yeah. came here, you know, with the positive attitude, and yeah. you know, we knew everything wasn't gonna be perfect from the beginning, mm-hmm. but we didn't expect the worst because right. we wouldn't move to a country where you know expect you're gonna worst. expect mm-hmm. the worst. Who right. does that? Right. So you know, we came in with positive attitude and we had hiccups trust me you know but they weren't like oh my god did we make a, the wrong decision right. it wasn't that kind of a hiccup you right. know what I mean so yeah. yeah I feel like we made a really good decision yeah so you had mm-hmm. a beautiful life in Houston and you moved here so did you what did you do with your stuff the three cars the motorcycles all of okay. your stuff <laughs> did you buy more stuff when you got here like, what happened so we mm-hmm. sold our house and I'm an expert I did for sale by owner sold the house in four days full wow. X and price um, so we sold everything let go Facebook marketplace w- became my friend yeah. we had garage sales we sold everything everything winter clothes our, our house was like more of a rich colors like burgundies and dark greens we sold all of that so like wow. our house here is real beachy real airy everything's light so we did we sold everything there we sold our cars motorcycles i don't miss anything people wow. are like you miss it and i don't miss anything mm. you know i guess once you get older you just kind of over material things um, yeah. But then I bought everything that I wanted just because I knew, you know, checking the prices when we we're here, like the bedding, the type of things that I like, and, you know, just accessories and knickknacks were are really expensive here because yeah. everything is imported. So I said, I have to furnish my house there. Mm-hmm. And people, you know, we told them that we were, we shipped a container. So we paid to, to ship this container. And everybody was like, that's really expensive. You're not really adapting to Allen life if you have to have all those things from the U.S. And, you know, I don't think that's true. I don't think it's fair, you mm-hmm. know, for people to say that. Right. because Just because you want your things. Right. You know, like I wanted my pictures. Mm-hmm. I wanted mm-hmm. the kind of bedding that I was Definitely. used to. Doesn't mean that I wasn't able to let go of the U.S. Right. It's just I knew that I wasn't going to come here and find the exact things that I wanted to decorate my home. I agree. To, you know, and yeah, to mm-hmm. be comfortable and things that I love yeah, you know yeah. but yeah we let it go we had sales the garage sales were hilarious we had estate sales you name it we got rid of that stuff replaced wow. it and did the container wow I and it's a, it was a good move yeah it was a good so move what's been the best part of the move oh my god the best part it, I, it has to be the family time with mm. me Davlin and Bella 
we have never spent this much time together wow. ever we've been married for 25 years but we have always had full-time jobs and a business i've always had an extra business and my full-time job so we've always worked so much that yeah. you know the weekend time it was you know doing stuff around the house or helping clients or just something it was never waking up and we're together all day yeah. so this is like you know people say y'all get bored together are you sick of being around him not at all oh, it's like are, i'm so much fun I'm, they are hilarious you know to see them interact with yeah. each other oh and, my god you know god. and then that's they when you know time. that you really made the right decision yeah. with mm -hmm. your spouse because we're on the same page you know we can sit and watch tv and do absolutely nothing and just be at peace and we're both happy and then we can have a day full of activities planned but it's us you yeah. know it's us our family time and i love it it. And yeah. I think Bella is like in heaven. Mm -hmm. She's just Bella like mommy and daddy here all day long. <laughs> Bella's yeah. the but dog. I love it. You know, Bella's so yeah, that's I think that's the best part of it for me. Not just wow. even the island, but just what it afforded us to be right. able to not have to continue working all the time and just be able to enjoy the family time. Wow. Yeah. So what's been the hardest? The hardest, um, I think is the the cold shower. Just not that we have any problems in the bedroom, cold shower action stuff, but because the water heaters, you know, people say, you know, when you have, you know, when you get to, so I don't even know how to say it. You know, how many people have to take a lot of showers? I know that. Well, okay, I'm old. No, no that's why I'm laughing because I know right. exactly what you're talking okay, about. So, that's why I was like, I can't believe you said that. So, right. So, people would think, oh, why didn't they have, it? you know, but not because of that but because here <laughs> the, the water got, heater yeah, has a switch yeah. Yeah. so you know the water heaters have a switch so when I, you're out in the heat all day and swimming and dirty you just run in and get in the shower and you be like shoot I forgot to turn on the water heater yeah. you know it takes like 15 yeah. minutes to warm up but yeah. I'm ready to take a shower now yeah. so yeah I think I was getting used to yeah. the cold showers but I now I can shower. remember I love it now. Love you know it. what I mean? Love it's, a like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like so refreshing. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I yeah, that minutes. was my biggest adjustment. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, something so simple. That's, but you yeah. just simple, right? But we take right. it because you, you actually have to hit a switch right. to get hot water switch. here. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, We're not used to that in the States. Uh, right. And, and that's what yeah. people. Me and my, like, yeah, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> my episode, I'll talk about yeah. my frustration with having to remember to turn on the hot water. Hot water yeah. yeah. And so, for the, like, for people that don't know, here, electricity is a lot higher. Yeah. Um, and people don't run the ACs year-round. Yep. And the water heater doesn't stay on. So, you have to switch. Right? So, those are the things you get used to. Like, you see the bridge, you see their hair just blowing in the wind. So, we don't need AC all day long. I don't know about that. That was an adjustment, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the whole, you have central air, or central yeah. air in your home, uh -huh. but in mine, I don't. No. And so, okay. having the, you know, the inverter box mm -hmm. there and dealing with that, like, goals for me is to get central air. Okay. Like, that is the goal <laughs> on my list. I will have central air before right. this is all said before and done. done. So, it's little things, yeah. but. Little things you Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know, and so people are like always thinking, you know, because we had cars and motorcycles, was it a huge adjustment for us here without transportation? You don't know me. I love the bus. The guagua is my friend. I don't really do the motos mm -hmm. just because I had two bad experiences right off the bat here oh. with the motos driving so fast and oh. they try to go around the speed bump that he almost hit my foot on the curb. Oh. So I was like, Oh, I'm not doing it again. And then mm -hmm. I did it again, and then he did it again. Oh, it was God. a different driver. Wow. And it, so I'm just like, I'll take the guagua, you yeah. know. And I, I don't mind the city bus. But and people think, you know, you got the, you used to this lifestyle. Yeah. But I can let things go so easy. For those of you who don't know what the moto is that she's talking about, <laughs> so here, 
there's motorcycle taxis right. where, and there's guys just constantly driving up and down the street and you just come out hail they'll come by and pick you up and you just jump on the back of their motorcycle yeah just like a regular taxi like but a motorcycle. <laughs> a motorcycle you ride on the yeah, back right. <laughs> maybe and two or three it. of y'all yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even if you don't know if you're me right, <laughs> just right. hold on yeah. i give you an authentic experience because i'll put two yeah. or three of us will be on one Ooh, of them yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But it has been it has been really good. I wouldn't, you know, trade this experience. I, I would tell everybody if you can, you know, afford to do it. And it's not like it's going to take you, you know, so much money to do it. It's just mm-hmm. a lifestyle that you're looking for and just to try it. You yeah. know, you can always go back to the States if you, yeah. you know, don't feel Absolutely. like it's going to work out. Then. Right. But at least you could say, okay, I tried this. I experienced mm-hmm. it. Yeah. You know, and it'll make you stronger and make you a better person. Yeah. for it yeah. but don't leave any stones unturned that's, that's what right. I say try everything yeah. and I know a lot of people will some people think well you know how many days can you go to the beach you know like will you get mm-hmm. bored right <laughs> but you actually ended up starting a business here right right so how mm-hmm. did that happen well so you know everybody uh, a friend of mine um has a travel agency in Houston Mm -hmm. and she's a church member and so she had been trying to recruit me for years Mm -hmm. just trying to recruit me so finally she's like but Bridget you're booking flights for everybody to come down there you could be making money from it Mm -hmm. I was like well that you know everybody knows me I've Mm -hmm. always had a a side hustle I'm always making money I'm always doing things so I was like sure why not and I don't have to get dressed I can do it at the beach I can do it by the pool all I need is my laptop I don't even have to be on the phone I yeah. was like okay sure sign me up mm-hmm. and that's how it happened and wow. because I'm like I feel like I'm a natural promoter marketer I'm gonna you know if I'm gonna do something I'm gonna make the most money mm-hmm. I can from it because I'm using my time so right. it's not gonna be something that I halfway do so now I just you know book flights like every other day people are contacting me if it's just like a little flight just going back and forth or a package like my first customer was Armoire's brother a, another expat who lives here mm-hmm. his I booked his brother from Kuwait to Phuket to Thailand wow. to Egypt wow. to Atlanta back to Kuwait mm-hmm. that was his trip wow. he wanted the full excursions doing you know the uh, camelback ride he wanted to do the boat rides in wow. Thailand he wanted to be on the beach he wanted me to get the airports I was like geez I'm really working <laughs> you know what I mean I I was like, yeah. but I, you know, it's something that because I was in the travel industry for so long, uh, mm-hmm. working with Continental Airlines, that I already knew it. I knew how to do it. So yeah. it, this was like an easy uh, transition. transition for us. Mm-hmm. It was wow. like a really nice. easy transition, you know. Mm-hmm. Wow. So. And it just came like right on time because we were like, we're going to take a whole year and not do anything. And then maybe I'll do recruiting because I've always been with marketing companies to start back making money. But we moved here like we literally could live probably 11 years based on what we spend a month here wow. without ever having to work again. Wow. And and that's how blessed and fortunate we work with. That's how much we worked at home. Wow. And we saved. You know what I mean? Yeah. And our and our lifestyle is, is I'm not even saying cut in half. It's like more than cut in half. Right. I got something that yes, I want to put out there that, that the other two ladies might not know. Uh-oh. That you wrote a book. Right. I wrote a book. I'm an author as well. But I'm, I'm a one hit wonder author. So, you know, I didn't have a, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, oh, I'm going to be, you know, the next Stephen King or, you know, just the next uh, Toni Morrison. It was a one hit wonder. The book did it really good. Um, I wrote it, it's like a four page, 400 page book, I think. Like, and I wrote it in like three and a half months. And, it was and, and, that and, book, that book, and that book got you and where? And that book got me here as well because I get a little bit of money from that book. But yes, before I got you got here, before it got you got to here. London. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I mean, my resume is like <laughs> page. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this. But it's page, page. Because I literally have done it all. I was yeah. a truck driver. My husband was wow. a time truck driver. I did insurance.
Goodies. I own the only food truck in Houston for dogs. Wow. Papa's Goodies. Shout out to all my customers. Wow. Um, but, you know, I just constantly stayed on the move. So yeah. people that knew, they were like, so th their surprise was, y'all are retiring at 50? Wow. What are y'all going to do? Because they know how busy we stay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they can't see us not doing anything. Right. So then when my mom and everybody saw that we had started a travel agency, it was like, okay. You know, I knew they were going to be doing something quick because yeah. we couldn't even take the whole year to sit still, wow. even though we tried. Because yeah. so I can of, go to the beach every day. Speaking of travel, do yes. you guys, because a lot of people think that when we get here, we're in paradise. Like, where else do we need to it's go? go right? But do you oh. plan on still doing some traveling? Yeah, absolutely. We have two big trips left. We're going to do, um, we're doing Dubai. We got the Dubai um, on our list and we're going to go to Australia because then we have finished. We would have done all the continents. Well, that's all we got wow. left is okay. Australia. And then we just wanted to do Dubai as a, a really big trip. And I'm a national park girl, so mm -hmm. I have to go right around the corner from Memphis. And I've never been to the Diamond Park in Arkansas, where you can actually go diamond mine. Oh, so wow. in March, we're going to be gone probably the whole month of March. We're going to do Pacific, Pacific Coast Highway Drive from yeah. L.A. down to Oakland, all the way down. Um, and then we're going to go diamond mining in Arkansas. And then our whole family is going to go rent a cabin in Nashville up in the mountains. Wow. So, we're, so I still, but no, amazing. I don't see me going to the Bahamas anymore. Or I don't see me yeah. going to Puerto no, Rico anymore. Another island. Another island. No. Cause I'm here. I'm at the beach. I'm on mm -hmm. a beautiful island. I don't so I don't see those kind of trips anymore. I might. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. With like maybe other couples because we're invited to a wedding in Aruba um in June. So things like that we'll do. But just to plan and sit and plan a vacation to another island, I don't think so. Okay. But definitely in the mountains, you know, yeah. things like that, but not cold weather time. But, you know, just like hiking right. and stuff like that, no, you know, no. in national parks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're but definitely going to do that. you know you can always come back home to this. I can always come right. back so, to this. Right. I love this. Oh. I love it. And it's not as hot as Houston. So people are like, oh, y'all going to die. Summers are so hot. It is nowhere near hot as Houston. Really? Even with the breeze, wow. you cannot be just sitting without AC in Houston. The wow. heat index in Houston has been this summer since we've been gone um like 107 and 110 the heat index wow. here the heat index the, the highest i think it's been 101 it was wow. like a couple of weeks ago was the heat index here but it didn't feel like it you know we passed people and they're all sweating and you know and we're just like it's not even that hot you know yeah. to us it's not that hot but you know just because coming from houston this is like i'm in heaven right now right really wow, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. yeah so so where do you it. see you, yourself in five years? Uh, five years, I think we are uh, probably going to be investors. And we're probably going to invest in some time yeah. for like, not a house, but like a strip mall. Like, wow. because I, I really do, I want to bring like some other type of business here, you know? So I want to have, I want to own the property that it's on mm -hmm. and yeah. then have make a strip mall where I have renters and that's why I see us, you know, just like really yeah. progress into something bigger as far as really committing to the island. Yeah. We're not going anywhere because we bought our home. But, you know, I just see us really, mm -hmm. you know, committing and investing in the community. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? That sounds amazing. And I know you're going to have an amazing future here Thanks in the Dominican Republic. We just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in yeah. once again. We are the Ebony Ladies in the DR. We'll be back here again every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, life is a beach.